into McLean Stadium where football is back and all is right in the world, except maybe not for those Baylor Bears as they hosted Texas State for the season opener and a night on the Brazos and the Bobcats. Well, they arrived in Waco with one goal, shock the entire state. Now, despite the outcome, the energy was high in McLean Stadium for the first of eight home games this season in Waco, the most in the country this year. Bears start slow, not able to convert in the red zone, so end up with a field goal and the Bobcats take advantage. Five minutes into the first, TJ Finney in the slot looks right, lets it fly, and finds Ismael Mahdi for the first six of the game to take the lead 7-3. After a bear stop, Bobcats keep rolling. Finley with the handoff to Mahdi. He weaves, breaks through traffic, and he's off to the races, breaking ankles, and it's all Mahdi all night, straight to the end zone for another Bobcat six to make it 14-6 after another Baylor field goal. And well, Texas State came to party. Three minutes into the second, Finley waiting, waiting. He scrambles, looks downfield, and oh my goodness, that's a big time snag from back Doniero Davenport for another Texas State touchdown. Bobcats widen the gap 26. But the Bears say enough is enough. Blake Shapen fakes the handoff. He's got time, scrambles left, and lays it in for the keeper for Baylor's first six of the game to make it 21-13. But Bobcats wanted it to burn going into the half. In the red zone, Finley with the handoff to Jamel Jetter, and it's a dog pile in the end zone for another Texas State touchdown. Bobcats head to the locker room with the lead 28 13. But the Bears say, no, 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 we're bringing the heat. Third quarter, shape and rolls, finds Drake Dabney cutting across the middle, jukes the guy, dives straight into the end zone for a 53 yarder to tighten it up 28 21. But not for long, a final score from McLean Stadium, 42-31 Bobcats. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room and be honest for a second. This was a matchup that many Baylor fans never thought was actually going to be this close. But Texas State rolled into Waco with one goal. They said, you know what, Baylor fans, we're about to shock the state. And well, they just did. In G.J. Kinney's big debut at the helm for the Bobcats, it probably couldn't have gone any better. He brings a new kind of offense to Texas State, shaking up the Baylor defense, and it was explosive. But what really hurt this Bears squad tonight? Penalties, late game turnovers, and the inability to, to convert in the red zone. Full far start penalties in the first half served as a big time momentum shift. And too many times tonight, Baylor found itself in the red zone, unable to convert touchdowns. Now these are the kind of issues that are exposed in a game one matchup, but really concerning going into tougher tests on the schedule. And well, next up, yeah, it only gets tougher. The Utah Utes make their way to Waco for a future Big 12 matchup preview. And after the Utes brought their A game for the season opener against Florida, this could make for a very fun matchup. Kick at 11 a.m. right here at McLean Stadium.